Good morning everyone, day two of Vlogmas. I hope you're all well, hi. My name is Hannah, if you are new, hey there. Miso and I, who's just now gone out of frame, are um, just editing yesterday's vlog and uh, trying to get ahead of the day. I want to have a dye day today, but um, yeah, I tend to like to get up and start dyeing yarn, but I need to edit this first, so one thing at a time. One thing at a time. No festive jumper today, but a hand knit nonetheless, uh, made by my mother which is very nice. Today is the 1st of December, which means advent opening time. Very exciting. I need to gift Mario his advent calendar because I've got him a cheese advent calendar again. Because um, I know he loves a cheese advent calendar. So yeah, I'm going to gift that to him when he gets home from work. And yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do with the cats being zoomy now. <sighs> hey folks, so I've just finished editing. It's now 10 past 10. The good chunk of the time that I spent editing was waiting for the computer to catch up and all I'd had to do was restart it, so I restarted it and then everything's fine, which is great. Um, the cats now have zoomies, they weren't zoomy when I thought they were going to be. We have delayed zoom, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, I need to dye some yarn today, so I might not get as much dyed as I wanted to, but I should hopefully get some dyed today because I've got a bit of a later start. So um, this evening in town, it's the light switching on ceremony, so we thought we'd go down. It wasn't on last year and we only moved to this town, well last year, because we've moved to a different part of Nottingham. Um, so we are going to go and see that, see the lights being switched on and there's like a little craft fair on and all of that fun stuff. So we thought it would be super fun to go and see what that's like. Um, so that is the plan for this evening, um, obviously weather permitting. Uh, we just did just have a monkey's wedding, so who knows, anything could happen. That's all, I need to go dye some yarn now. This video is currently saving. I might make the thumbnail while I'm sat here actually, finish off my first cup of tea of the day, and uh, yeah, make this thumbnail so I don't have to do it later. <laughs> This is Miso, she's very cute. I just brought her down from upstairs because she was meowing at me, so. She's just been brought down. She might settle down and sit on my lap. Nope, she jumps off. Your sister's on the sofa, bub. No. Ugh, there she is. There she is, do you see her? Anyway, so I've put myself in a bad mood. <laughs> so I need to try and get out of the bad mood. Um, I got really annoyed at the computer because it kept being really slow, but then I restarted the computer and editing and everything was fine after I restarted it. But that, first of all, made me grumpy. Then I've just filmed my, let me adjust this real quick. Then I've just filmed my video for um, Sunday, which is a tour of the dye shed. And I talked about all the things that I would do differently next time. And it just wound me up again that I should have thought before I got everything done, I should have been like very clear about what I wanted and blah, 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 but I had no idea what I wanted because I've never had to do anything like this before. I can't really afford to change it. So, um, yeah, I'm stuck with it as it is for the time being, which is less than ideal, but it works, it functions, it's great. Uh, so I can't complain too much, but it's made me not want to go die young, but I have to, because otherwise I have no nothing to sell on the 11th. Because tomorrow I'm meeting up with friends for um, tea. I mean, take the coffee, but none of us drink coffee, so tea. And then I have to, or not have to, then I'm going to Manchester on Friday, which is very exciting because I'm seeing some friends that I haven't seen in a really long time. Um, we're going to Manchester Christmas Market, and I'm going to be there Friday and Saturday and come back on Sunday. And then we're going Christmas tree shopping on the Monday. And then I guess I'm just prepping for the shop update for the rest of the week but uh, and dyeing up clubs and making clubs and blah 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 because my shop update is meant to be on the 11th of December and yeah I'm a little bit stressed I thought I would have more time to sort this all out 
sort everything out, get everything. I thought I'd have way more in the shop update this month than I did last month. And you know what? I haven't. So I'm completely freaking out about it and don't know whether to just sit here and bead weave today and die on tomorrow. I guess I need to talk to my friends about what time we're meeting. Because I could come back and die on tomorrow and just get some done. Or I, I don't, I don't know. But I'm a little bit stressed about it because I need some income. So I need to make stuff to sell stuff, otherwise I can't sell stuff. <laughs> Still hear me over the sound of the induction hops. Um, so you will see on Sunday, Sunday I'm having a dye shed tour going up and I really need to do a yarn order but money's a little bit tight and yarn orders not cheap. Um, so I'm dyeing up some, so I need to save those bases for like the yarn club and stuff like that. So I'm dyeing up some yak sock, which is very exciting. I've not dyed up yak before, um, and I'm dyeing up one of these, the colour that you just watched me dye the last one with the pink in. Um, yeah, I'm dyeing that on it. So I'm curious to see how it's going to look. It's going to look very different to how it's looking on the merino sock. So I'm very excited about it, and I um, think it's going to look great, in all fairness. Uh, if not, I will add some other colours and call it something else. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I was in a really bad mood this morning and was getting very stressed and very anxious about this shop update that I have coming up and all these things that I have to do. Um, but now I'm having a play in dyeing yarn. I feel much better than I very often do when I dye yarn. So I just need to actually start dyeing yarn earlier in the day instead of thinking about it and worrying about it and panicking about it. Um, but yeah, you'll see the finished dyed up skeins 
in a future vlog so come back for that that will be fun and uh, you can help me name them as well which will be lovely because these are all just colors off the cuff that I decided to try dyeing because I felt felt like it wanted to play with color to perk me up a little bit so hopefully you heard all that because these are loud <laughs> So my camera battery died, because of course it did. Um, but I dyed up some mini skeins and I'm gonna turn uh, those skeins into sock sets, which I think will be really fun. I haven't, I might, I will enlist your help for naming them. I think it'll be fun, group project. Um, but I thought it was time to open some advent calendars. Advent time, if you've not opened your day one of advents, open them with me. I'm going to start with my Chromatic Yarns advent calendar um, because I want to cast on the project with it. It's currently 20 to 4. I feel like it's a good time. It's going to be living in my um, The Little Blue Robin project bag because it's kind of magical. I thought it's fun. So, day one. I mean, I know what the colour is. So, in day one, you get a little D4 which is just a four-sided dice. And also, day one is this beautiful colorway or a variation of it, uh, because obviously every skin is very slightly different, but this is called Magic Aura, and oh, I love it so much. It's so pretty. I don't think I wrote this one down. I wrote down some advent colorways, but Towards the end, it was such a rush to get them all done. I didn't write them all down, so. And also, some techniques that I use to dye mini skeins won't work on full-size skeins. So I might, I know the colors that I have used, so I might try and come up with something similar to this and call it the same name. Um, but it probably won't be exactly the same. Right, also I'm dying, I'm dying for a tea. So I'm going to open my Bird and Blend advent calendar, spread a little magic, um, and in this advent calendar, which was sent to me, well, they sent me an advent calendar, but I also bought an advent calendar, just to be completely transparent. Um, the one that they sent to me, I gifted to my sister because I'd already bought one, so, yes. Um, the advent calendars have all sold out now, just so you know. Day one, day one, day one, day one. So this is what it looks like inside. They're all in their little individual boxes, which is fun. And this year, which is very different from previous years, I didn't have one last year, I made my own advent calendar. They um, have given you two tea bags so you can share with a friend. Today's flavor is Christmas cranberry pie. Yum, delicious. I am going to have this later after dinner because it's a fruit tea, which means it has no caffeine in it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have this after dinner, I think. And then Mario can have a tea bag as well. Uh, spread a little magic. This year we've given you two, so you can share a brew with someone new. But Mario isn't someone new, he's someone old. Yesterday was 12 years since we met, which is mad. And then, yeah, we've now been married two years crazy times. Uh, let's spread cupfuls of happiness, post a handwritten letter to someone you care about, which is really cute, cute thing. And you get a little, there's a little picture of a reindeer on the back, so yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, so yeah, this is a fruit tea, so it's apple pieces, cinnamon, rose hip, hibiscus, freeze-dried cranberry, lime leaf, stevia, orange peel, freeze-dried cherry, and natural flavouring. Very nice, but I'm probably just going to have a caffeinated tea right now. Well, in a second. Because I've still got one more advent to open. You know when you got those friends that are just like really good at everything and you kind of resent them a little bit, but you don't actually resent them. You just wish that you were good at everything as well. Um, because I don't resent this person or their business at all. But Georgie of the Fibre Fox, I hate you a little bit because you're so good. She sent me a picture of this box ages ago when they first came in, which was last year at some point and it's so beautiful it's the fiber fox hand dyed yarns and it's their logo and it's so lovely and i'm going to ask them where they got their boxes printed I'm not going to guarantee that i'm going to do that next year though mine just all got put in a cellophane bag inside an envelope because it's it's so beautiful 
she just put, takes that extra step with packaging that I just don't do. I try, I try, but yes. So, day one. Uh, so, this is a fade, um, and I have already seen a spoiler for this um, on Instagram, but that's okay. I'm not too heartbroken about it. Oh, it's even nicer in person though. So this is called Pear Tree, and I believe the base that I got is like a merino sock base. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's a fade. And I think what I'm going to do, Kalisha, um, who is Nadira Tani. Have I stumbled over your username? I stumbled over your username, Kalisha. Nadira Tani, no I didn't. Came out with a new pattern and it's crochet and it's um, designed for mini skeins, advent minis, um, four ply held double or DK weight. So what I think I'm going to do, and this is it, it's called um, Just Feel Cozy, Just Feel Cozy Shawl and it's like a zigzag granny stripe I guess. Just Feel Cozy wrap, sorry not shawl, wrap. Um, first of all, Kalisha, you do not charge enough for your patterns, so yeah, luckily she has a coffee open, so I zapped some across, but um, yeah, I'm going to crochet that with these, but instead of holding them double, I think I'm just going to hold them, unless I hold them double as well, I'm holding mohair with it, so I don't know whether to hold it single and have mohair with it, or hold it double and have mohair with it for extra floof. Maybe I'll hold it double with mohair with it um, for extra floof. And it would just be an undyed mohair and it would just be like a pastel floofy beautifulness. But, mate. Pear tree, absolutely stunning. Um, yeah. For my own shawl, I'm going to, for my own advent, I'm going to make the, what's it called? Calico wrap? Calico quilt shawl. Calico milk, calico quilt shawl by Samantha Troyer. Um, and yeah, it's like a join as you go and there's, and it's triangles and blah, blah, blah. I shared it on the Discord. I have a Discord for Chromatic Yarns fans. And yeah, I just think it'll be really fun because the Chromatic Yarns advent is a random advent. So I figured it will be fun to do, um, Things like that. Do something that is designed to have random yarn. Right, I'm gonna keep that in its baggy because I um, soaked some yarn and had it all going. Uh, I soaked uh, mohair um, and like cooked, like treated it so it wasn't a brand new thing. And yeah. I'm very excited. But I'm going to cast on my calico quilt shawl, I think. We've got to the time of day where the light is terrible everywhere. But Mario is now home. Somewhere. Hello. Um, and yeah, he's popped the kettle on. So uh, let's go make a cup of tea. Also, I'm going to give him his advent calendar. This is Mario's advent calendar. It's a selection of cheese, chutneys, and biscuits. Cheese. Is that your prediction? Yes. Oh. Oh, it's pink. Did somebody oh. say truckle? Oh, mystery flav. Mystery flavour. We'll never know. <laughs> Just watching Pointless and watch the repair shop. I love the repair shop. Now watching Pointless, accompanied by a bub on the footstool, snuggled in my dressing gown that I was using to warm my feet yesterday. Um, but I've just finished my first triangle of my calico quilt shawl. Um, 
it's a bit janky on the edge just because it is but yeah and yeah it's really cute at the minute I love how this yarn's knitting up and I have a little Father Christmas marking uh, the right side of my knitting so I know which side is which and yeah I'm excited to knit day two into it but yes Ta -da. Mario also bought me a Kinder Bueno advent calendar which was very nice so now I've got one, two, three, four advent calendars. Bit extreme. But appreciated nonetheless. But yes, I will show you this tomorrow when the light is better. But um, we are going to head off to the light switching on in town. And um, so I'm going to switch over to my old camera because this one's a bit bigger and a bit clunkier. So I'm going to switch over to the old camera, which is a bit more inconspicuous. Um, so the quality might change, but yep, All right, in a bit. So we are back home now um, and it was really fun seeing the light switch on. It didn't happen last year so it was fun to go to this year. It was super busy. I had not anticipated how busy it would be. Um, but yeah, it was really busy. My sister came along, Maria went too and that was very fun. Um, we didn't actually see the lights themselves getting switched on but there were there was a market store ha market stores happening so I had to wander around. I didn't want to film too much because there were a lot of children there but in the church which is where Lord Byron is buried, very exciting um, and Ada Lovelace, she's not named but she's buried there. You know she only invented the computer, NBD um, but it's super cool. Anyway she, nope the, at the church they had uh, Christmas trees set up by various um, charities and organisations and um, like schools and stuff. They were all set up and they were really cool uh, and you can vote for your favourite one which was fun. And then yeah the carol service is on the 19th of December so I might try and go to that because I do love a carol service. Um, I believe it's you can sing in church now. I mean, it might all, be, all change by then, but uh, masks on, obviously. But yeah, I very much... Uh, it was really nice walking around and seeing all the different trees and stuff. Enjoyed them. So that is it for Vlogmas Day 2. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Follow me on social media. Links can all be found in the description box below, along with any other information that I think you might need. Um, feel free to subscribe. I will be posting a video every day throughout December, which is very exciting. Uh, tomorrow is podcast day, so a podcast will be coming out. No? Yes. Tomorrow podcast will be coming out. And the, you will see tomorrow's video on Saturday. And then I have the Die Shed tour coming on Sunday. That's how I'm getting over the fact that I'm away this weekend and away from the computer and everything. But yeah, you will see this weekend's vlog on Monday. Anyway, thank you all so so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in tomorrow's video. The daily check-in, please leave me a comment, let me know what you've been up to or almost forgot. Daily check-in, please. I love to see it. I love hearing about it. Seeing your your yay vlogmas um comments was really cute. Also, the Yarn and Stitch Marker Club are both live, so feel free to check that out if you want to. Anyway, I'm gonna go help Mary with dinner. I'm not. He's does everything himself. And uh, yeah, I will see you all very soon. Bye.